AI accidentally proves gender inequality in job applications. I just watched a TED talk about AI and found something interesting. Amazon created a resume sorting algorithm and cancelled it later. The problem was AI was trained on resumes of current and former employees and learned to avoid women resumes. Direct quote of Yanel Shane from the video. When they discovered that the algorithm had learned to discriminate against women, what happened is, they had trained it on example resumes of people who they had hired in the past, and from this example, the AI learned to avoid the resumes of people who had gone to women's colleges, or who had the word, women, somewhere in the resume, as in, women's soccer team, or a society of women engineers. The AI didn't know that it wasn't supposed to copy this particular thing that it had seen humans do, and technically it did what they asked it to do. Link 815 for the subject. Edit there were several deleted comments about the term AI and how it was used incorrectly by stupid people who don't understand anything, because AI doesn't exist. So let me, a filthy peasant, specify something for elitists yes, we know that true AI hasn't been developed yet. Let's not forget that the term AI nowadays is used loosely to also describe 6 and ML. Despite this, the term AI is widely used by big tech and general public. That's not point of this post anyway. The point is in the systemic approach of hiring policy. Edit 2 Someone reported me to Reddit Care Sources for Suicide Watch. Groundbreaking solution. This is a known phenomena. There are multiple studies done comparing the responses to identical resumes with names that are obviously male-female. I'm pretty surprised that the researchers weren't aware of this when giving their AI the training data. This is reiterating what's been proven a number of times. The key takeaway is that AI will only do exactly what it's told to do. And that will include any biases, intended or otherwise. My husband actually works with these types of equity issues in machine learning algorithms and predictive analysis in general. I'm fully unsurprised. Trash in trash out is a well-known phrase. OMG people really need to stop abusing the Reddit care system. Seriously. LOL I remember a little while back, when they Microsoft, I think cut an AI loose on social media, it immediately devolved into a raging cesspool of hatred, from xenophobia all the way through all the other isms. They had to yank it the next day, it was so unbelievably toxic. Yet, all it did was copy what it saw happening, a case of robot monkey see monkey do. Bias in, bias out. The spelling of my first name skews gender neutral unisex while my middle name is definitely feminine. I've gotten more responses to job applications when I put my middle initial on my resume than when I type the entire name. It's disgusting. Weapons of Math Destruction by Kathy O'Neill discusses similar topics, if you find this interesting be warned that it's infuriating to read not the content. Yep. When you blind applications change names, etc. or make them dependent on performance see the orchestra study, the results are damning. This has been used as an example of why using AI or machine learning to make more and more important decisions and pretending that that means they are good decisions is so dangerous. Honestly I always felt like this was the perfect example of exactly how we should be using AI, not to take over our decisions, but to do exactly this sort of analysis of why it thinks we made our decisions, in order to help catch things like this. Okay computer, copy everything we do, got it? Yes I saw it. No computer not like that I said do it exactly the way we do. Oh. If you're interested in reading more about algorithmic bias, consider taking a look at weapons of math destruction. I think another issue is that there are cultural and systemic issues that prevent women from becoming engineers. This really just can't be solved from a hiring perspective alone. Garbage in, garbage out. Machine learning AI is always limited by the human biases intrinsic to its data. But as you're saying, it's good that we can expose those biases in these ways and hopefully train better AI and humans as a result. I'm sorry, I can't let you do that Dave. This makes me even more grateful that my mother spelled my name like the male version. 
Do I get mail constantly to Mr. Tottali Tubular? Yes. Is it worth not having these kinds of headaches? Also yes. Just like how the AI for predicting crime was extremely racist because the police was racist and convicted more colored people isn't AI fun? We get to see how biased we really are because somehow we have yet to train an AI to not discriminate like we do. This is an excellent example not only of how inequity compounds over time, but also how technology was, is and will be used to justify it. It may have been cancelled in this instance, but there are thousands of these things similarly perpetuating bias. It's perfectly reasonable to call this stuff AI. It's fine to call Deep Blue AI. You can even call the Google search algorithm AI. The idea that AI just means so-called general AI, or true AI, is a nonsense. Those people might be trying to be elitist, but they are just wrong. This makes me wonder if men with names that are now seen as feminine have a harder time getting jobs. Like a dude named Ashley having a more unsuccessful resume. I think this is the way to get guys to care, lmao some of their cohort may be impacted by sexism. It took an AI doing what humans did for those humans to finally recognize their bias. Your edits are great. Face with tears of joy I too am a filthy peasant. The good side of this is that if we can identify the biases in an AI like this we can fix them. It's a hell of a lot easier to reprogram software than a society. We should definitely keep trying to fix society and its people but there is a silver lining to the multiple instances of AI biases. I'll look at it later but what caused the AI to do that? Was it screened for terms in resumes rejected by hiring managers? Or was there some other criteria that became linked with the word woman? AI was trained on resumes of current and former employees and learned to avoid women resumes. That's the first problem human hiring managers are often quite bad at their job and have weird not just gender prejudices. Edit 2 Someone reported me to Reddit care sources for Sparkle Suicide Watch. Report them. IIRC they recently had to shut down a chatbot right after it was released because it started praising Hitler. This will be a huge problem with AI that will take years, if not decades to solve. People thinking lifelike AI are around the corner are like cavemen discovering fire and immediately dreaming about flamethrowers. Maybe a flawed analogy, but there are a few more steps involved than you might think. The biggest issue is that their assumption is that hiring employees similar to their existing and past employees would be good for the company, which is stupid. Everyone at this point knows hiring talents with diverse backgrounds and life experiences is good for productivity, creativity, and adapting to change. Gender bias is just the tip of the iceberg here. Isn't it kind of obvious that if you train an AI using human decisions it's pretty likely to develop the same human biases? To paraphrase and well know saying bias in, bias out. Towards the bottom of the Reddit cares are directions on how to report that this was abused, or you could block from ever getting another Reddit cares again. I reported one of the Reddit cares I got and they responded that the person who abused the service had been dealt with. I highly recommend reporting the abuse. This is why we should all be skeptical of AI in decision making. This applies to pretty much any kind of decision making loans, college applications, job applications, conviction sentencing, cheat detectors, etc. This isn't to say it can't be done, but it needs more attention than most companies care to give. A friend of mine once worked on a project that used ML to try and differentiate between photos of NATO and Soviet armored vehicles. It worked great on the training set, but was useless in the field. It turned out that the model had learned to associate blue sky with NATO vehicles and cloudy sky with Soviet vehicles. File this away for the next time someone tells you code can't be biased. Many of these employers complaining of a shortage of workers are using AI to select interviewees. There is no shortage in many cases, just an AI rejecting good potential employees. Yeah, this is the same problem that happens with predictive policing. This is the only sub where an OP is regularly reported to Reddit care. It's almost like, it's this defense mechanism by mouth breathers against people who don't take misogynistic crap. But wait, that can't be it, s.